Tim Ruffner here with Desktop Metal. I'm going to show you how we work on the, on the studio system. What we're doing here is we're printing with uh, bound metal rods that have 80% metal powder and 20% binder. That goes into these cartridges. This is printing almost the exact same way that a 3D printer would do on a Stratasys machine. After we have these bound metal rods put into the cartridges, they come down from the flipper device into the extruder. And the extruder here will then print it layer by layer by basically just printing what is the binder, which is a 20% binder. The metal powder just follows right through. As we print layer by layer and we finish up, we're going to have what's called a green part. Okay, but We're basing this all off of metal injection molding. So we're going to have a green part that comes out of this machine. When we're done with the green part, we're going to go to our next step. Our next step is putting it into the debinding tank. The debinding tank right here was going to pull out most of that binder, that 20% binder that we originally were talking about. After we're done with that 20% binder being pulled out, we now have what's called a brown part. Okay? That brown part now we will put into our sintering machine, which is right over here. And the sintering furnace on this side will then totally sinter it to a fully dense metal part. That usually takes about 24 hours. Everything is controlled through this cloud-based software. You can take it pretty much any file format, which is SOLIDWORKS files, STL files, CATIA files, and it'll handle everything from slicing it. One of the really cool parts about our system is it's totally office safe. We can put this anywhere, okay? That's one of our main selling points is we don't have to have a facility requirement. Like most of these other systems out there that require to have facilities, you need to have somebody that knows what they're doing, a systems requirement. They have to be super technical, have to wear these crazy spacesuits. We don't need any of that. Everything is self-contained into those metal rods that go into the cartridge. So we don't need to have any facility requirements that need to have anything with like explosion-proof walls and so on and so forth. So that would, that would totally makes our system different than everyone else. The whole complete system here from start to finish is $120,000 for the equipment, plus training and installation, so on and so forth. And we can have that done by just reserving it online at desktopmetal.com. Put it into the furnace, which then... Wild how how you go from step to step it's all you cloud-based software. So you don't have to have like